All right, welcome back to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call, powered by FanDuel Sportsbook. Give us a call, 412-575-2600. ranting about the Battle and Buckos right now. They did, we were able to save some money with all their ARB-eligible guys. They, get, they came to terms with eight. That, that is, I think, success for this new front office for the Pirates right now. Well, I mean... A lot that of, no one went to arbitration. But a lot of teams are doing that. That's sort of the new way they're doing things. There's just a, you know, a lot of teams are doing that, and a lot of players are doing that. It just saves a lot of time, and you can kind of get focused on now on training, you know, spring training. Um, I will say, if you're Josh Bell, that tells me maybe, just maybe, Scott Boris is not going to play complete hardball when Josh Bell's contract comes up. But again, are the Pirates really going to sign him? Yeah. Well, he has what, three seasons left. Whatever and... he's got left, it doesn't matter. My point is when his contract comes up, yeah. you look at what Scott Boris has done traditionally. He goes for every dime he can possibly squeeze out of a team and then some. But my point is he left about a million dollars on the table. Yeah, 1.1 million. Whatever. I mean, you know, whatever it would have been. But he left some money on the table here. I don't know if that means there's some wiggle room at the end of this. Um, to me, if I was the Pirates, I think I would probably try and offer Bell one of those deals. He's probably not going to take it, but one of those deals you gave him to McCutcheon or somebody like yeah, that. Yeah, and see if he would take it. See I, if he would take it. Look, I, I went off on that last year. I was on that bandwagon for, like, months about offering him a deal last year. And then he went in the tank at the second half of the season, but, um, which really lowered his value by a couple of million. I'm sure he lost a couple million uh, by the second half of the season. Well, he had. I mean, he has but he's their, only, he's their only marketable person right now. What do you mean? Josh Bell. He's the only person you can really market. If you stink, if you're that bad, you, need, you want to come see someone at the well, ballpark. I mean, Kevin Reynolds, you can. Kevin Reynolds has been, a, you know. Brian Reynolds or Bri Kevin Newman, or Brian, both of those Brian, guys whatever. together. Brian Reynolds, yeah, Brian Reynolds. <laughs> All right, that's got anyway, to the phone line. Yes. Sean and Aliquippa, what's up, Sean? Hello. Hey. Hello. Nightly Sports? Yes, you've got the hey, right place. Uh, I was just wanting to say uh, a couple of things for everything else when by. Uh, I'm glad we kept Musgrove. I'm glad we did what we did. I mean, we we don't have all crappy players. Okay, um, and, uh, Sean, I really appreciate the call, and I think that um, they had no option to keep these guys. I mean, they're arbitration-eligible guys. It's just you have to pay them. This amount or this amount, essentially. And if you can agree on something before you go to arbitration, you avoid that. But, you know, the Pirates are going to have these guys for the next couple of years no matter what, essentially, if they, unless they don't well, tend I mean, yeah, this is, so, this is the core of their team, but they got, they've got to turn over their core. You know, I, we were talking about this in the break, and I don't know what you guys think, but, you know, Marte is their only, you know, chip that they could use to get anything of value in return. Um, I would also look to try to trade Colin Moran. Maybe you could trade... Uh, Keona Kella midseason. If he's having a good year, yes. you could get something for him. Uh, what uh, Adam Frazier, if there's any takers for a second baseman, that infield scene's kind of clogged right now. Um, I think you keep, well, I mean, if you can trade Adam Frazier, it is what, I mean, you're, you're, you're basically trying to unload people, so I get that. But Adam Frazier should be your, your utility guy. I think so, too. No, I would say, I mean, you got a guy like him that can play seven positions or six, whatever it is, six positions. He probably, I mean, he could play seven because he could play first if you really needed him to. But the bottom line is, you know, I'm telling you, you, you your, your value in trading Chris Archer is you're saving $9 million. That's the value in trading. I get that, but it. And I think you As could, a fan, think, I'm not looking to save money for this team. But I think you could also get maybe like a, 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 a single-A player who's got potential. Maybe the guy never becomes a major leaguer, but, you know, I At think least you're going on you potential. could actually get a couple of maybe younger guys that have a little bit of potential or whatever uh, for a team that needs a starter. I mean, the bottom line is if, if you're a team that needs a middle of the rotation, fourth, third, fourth starter – Chris Archer's not bad, you know. I mean, he's not good, but he's not bad. I'd like to see a good half of the year out of Chris Archer and then maybe try to unload him. Um, maybe take, your, take a gamble on, see what he can do by the trade deadline. All right, let's go out to Jim and McMurray. What's up, Jim? Uh, you know, I, I sort of agree with Paul. I don't understand why they're just paying this kind of money for players they're just not going to be able to use. They could stick it towards some good, uh, better free agents. A couple free agents I'd like to see them get would be Hunter Pence 
and Matt, Matt Adams. Uh, those are two guys I think would, it would help the Pirates out. And I don't agree with Paul on Polanco. I, he's a terrible outfielder. Terrible. But, that's, that's but what he, I said. he did say that. But, he, but, he, but, he's, a good, but he's a good hitter. Uh, I, I would say national, a, national League won't be interested, but I think as a designated hitter, maybe the American League might be. He's a streaky hitter, very streaky. I mean, if he can go on a his, spell. If you look at his month to month, some months he looks like he's bad 112, and then he's bad 300. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's, um, you know, Jim. I, yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm not looking to save money for the Pirates. That's not my job. Um, my, my what I'm trying to is, do. But it is. But it is a part of. Baseball, I do understand no, no, that. It is a part of where, you know, if they're going to get where they want to go, they're going to have to spend money at some point. Yes. So my point is, if you're going to have to spend it and you don't want, get rid of Archer. If you can find someone to take Polanco off your hands, I don't care. I'd take a bag of baseballs for the guy. Get that contract out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And basically, you know, in, in, in Marte, now you're saving like $30 million almost. If you could do that for two years and put that money away and invest it, now you've got money. If you come up to, you know, a situation in the trade deadline two years from now or three years from now where, okay, we, we're, we're there and we need this guy and this guy to get over the top, you can go get them. Yeah, but I think the one thing about the Pirates, what we've learned, they're not going to go into long-term deals with free agents. At least I, I won't believe, I wouldn't believe that. No, they're I not going to go into a hundred million dollar point deal. Is, what happens? Wasn't wasn't Verlander a year and a half? I don't know what he said. I think for. I think when he was when he when the Astros picked him up, I think he had a, a, you know the rest of that season and, and another one year. more, and it was at like twenty five million dollars. So they were making a like a like a thirty five million dollar investment for a year. But and that half. means you got to be pretty close if you're going to make a deal like that. But that's my point. Yeah, I I, I get but what you you're get saying. There, but you can do that if you're a small market. If you save the money, there's no reason to waste thirty million dollars on Archer, Polanco, and Marte this year. They're not helping you. And this guy wants to sign Matt Adams and Hunter Pence. <laughs> That, what, what is that going to do for you? I mean, they're nice players, but they, they don't fit here. All right. We're going to take a break. There's a couple lines open. 412-575-2600. Back in a couple minutes.